slew of classic EastEnders stars, including John Altman, Linda Davidson and Steve McFadden were seen arriving for former co-star Leonard Fenton's funeral in North London on Wednesday. The soap star, known for his role as one of the show's original characters Dr. Legg, died last month at the age of 95, and many of Albert Squares were in attendance to pay tribute. Leonard's death, which came three years after his character was killed off on the soap, was announced in a statement released by his family, who said he will be missed beyond words. John, known for his role as villain Nasty Nick Cotton, made a solo arrival at the funeral, where he could be seen catching up with many of his co-stars. Among them were Tom Watt, who played Unlucky in Love Lofty Holloway, and Linda, who famously played the 80s punk Mary Smith. Having appeared in the soap on multiple occasions until Nick was killed off in 2015, it was no surprise to see John rubbing shoulders with an array of the soap's biggest actors, including Steve, who has played Hardman Phil Mitchell for over 30 years. Leonard's death was announced by his family in a statement last month, reading, The family of the actor Leonard Fenton are heartbroken to announce his death at the age of 95 on Saturday, January 29. Best known for his role as Dr. Legg on EastEnders, Leonard's acting career spanned more than 60 years. It continued, he worked in TV and film and his long stage career included time at the National Theatre and most recently the Royal Shakespeare Company. He felt privileged to have worked with some of the greats of the theatre, including Samuel Beckett, Orson Welles, and Jonathan Miller. More videos 1, 2, 3 Watch video behind the scenes, Emily Atak gets hair done before Brit Awards Watch video Gemma Collins opens up about self-harm in new Channel 4 documentary Watch video Ben Wishaw stars as harassed doctor in BBC's This Is Going To Hurt Watch video Ant McPartland's ex Lisa Armstrong talks loyalty in relationships Watch video BB Rexa dances in pink lingerie for Celine Dion challenge Watch video Octomom Nadia Suleiman celebrates Celebrates her children turning 13. Watch video Heather McDonald shares fainting footage on Juicy Scoop podcast. Watch video Caitlyn Jenner reveals Kylie is doing great after welcoming her son. Watch video Maya Jama shuts down Mo Gilligan's questions about Hugh Dring. Watch video Cody admits that he isn't attracted to Selena because she is Asian. Watch video Loved Up. Nini Leaks and Bonya Nisala Sio visit the real watch video Molly King gets hair and makeup done before Brit Awards the statement concluded, his passion for painting and singing predated his acting career and was equally as important to him. He will be missed beyond words by his family. We feel incredibly lucky to have been able to be with him as his health worsened towards the end a privilege denied to so many during these tough times. An EastEnders spokesperson added, We are deeply saddened to hear that Leonard has passed away. Since appearing in the very first episode of EastEnders, Leonard created a truly iconic character in Dr. Legg who will always be remembered. Our love and thoughts are with Leonard's family and friends. His career in acting spanned over 50 years and saw him appear in a total of 267 episodes of EastEnders. Leonard and his wife, cellist Madeline Turner, had four children together. The EastEnders Twitter account marked the actor's passing, boasting, Dr. Harold Legg. An hashtag EastEnders icon from the very first episode. Here's to Leonard Fenton for his wonderful presence over the decades. Hashtag EastEnders. Leonard's on-screen best friend June Brown, who played Dot Cotton, said in a statement, I first met Leonard as Dr. Legg when I joined the cast of EastEnders as Dot, his hypochondriac patient, in 1985. He was a charming man in all ways, first as a person and then as an actor extremely polite and kind.
I enjoyed working with him enormously for many years and missed him when he retired. I was glad that I'd been with him for his last scene with Dot at his bedside and my thoughts are with his devoted family. Natalie Cassidy, who plays Sonia Fowler, said, I had the pleasure to work with Leonard. He was utterly charming, continuously joked with me and loved talking about his past. I feel honored that our paths crossed. My thoughts are with his family at this sad time. While Gillian Tailforth, Kathy Beale, said, I'm so sorry to hear the very sad news about Leonard. He was a lovely, charming man who was so kind and always told the most wonderful stories. I send my love and condolences to his family. R.I.P. Dear Leonard. Leonard's character was killed off on EastEnders in 2019, with the emotional storyline seeing him lose his battle with pancreatic cancer. Harold had returned to Albert Square to spend his final moments with none other than his longtime friend. Cotton. Dot realized the end was in sight for Dr. Leg when he was brought back to the square and she saw the frail state he was in. Sharing touching moments as Harold drifted away, the doctor held his father's pendant in his hand before his grip loosened and he passed away. On working with Leonard again when he rejoined the show last year, June, said, It's been 11 years since Dot last visited her favorite doctor, Dr. Legg, and it's an utter delight to be working with Leonard Fenton again. One of the show's original characters, Leonard portrayed the medical doctor in regular and recurring roles up until 1997, before appearing in short cameos in the early 2000s. Gushing over his surprising return, the star said, I am very happy to be back at EastEnders and am looking forward to working with June and the rest of the cast and crew again. Raised in East London, Leonard trained to be a civil engineer at King's College London and worked as an army engineer during World War II, and continued to do for five years after until he decided to pursue acting. Leonard was awarded a scholarship to London's prestigious Weber Douglas Academy of Dramatic Art and went to forge a successful acting career spanning over 50 years. As well as his EastEnders role, the actor also appeared in films such as Robin Hood Jr., 1975, Give My Regards to Broad Street, 1984, and the British horror movie The Zombie Diaries, 2006. In December 2004, at the age of 78, Leonard made his directorial debut with After Chekhov, which was performed in the Soho Theatre Studio. 